Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. And it's Wednesday. What does it mean? We got some news. So, this weekend, you guys will be able to farm some cactuars if you're missing those. Uh, basically, from Friday all the way up to Monday, you're gonna be able to farm some cactuars. That's number one. Number two, uh, coming with the uh, Dragon Quest event, so you guys can see right here. A new highly difficult quest, Dragon Lord's Challenge, will become available. So starting on Friday, you guys can see right here the Dragon Lord. We're gonna fight him. So here's what uh, Mr. Mog has to say about some uh, about Mr. Uh, Dragon Lord right here. Make sure your party has elemental fire resistance because uh, he's gonna do a lot of fire damage. I guess I'm pretty sure of basically. Uh, bring Man Eater because it's gonna be super effective on the first round. But Dragon Killer will be best for second round. So basically, what's gonna happen is probably he's gonna start as Dragon Lord, and then maybe he's gonna transform into something like a dragon or anything like that. Which you're gonna need Dragon Killer. So it's gonna be really fun to see what we can muster up as a team for that mission rewards. Uh, you guys can see right here four star Trust Moogle. So basically, five percent to any character that you want to give it to. Uh, if you complete the quest, you get another 5-star Moogle, 4-star uh, Moogle, but 5%. I always get things mixed up right here. Uh, you're, if you have slime in the party, you will have uh, 10,000 gold coins. Uh, we're going to see how that works. We're going to see the team we need to bring, uh, basically all the stats, the attack that he does, and uh, we're going to find a little place for Mr. Slime to join the party and kick some Dragon Lords, but no green magic. So you get fire resistance 20%. Uh, first thing I'm thinking right here, maybe a girl like Minfilia will be useful since she can cast uh, fire resistance without being green magic. So that can be pretty, pretty sick. Uh, we're going to see what we can do here. And if you're clear without uh, not like being KO'd, you basically get magic 30% as an ability, which is really, really good uh, since you're going to be able to max out your damage on your magic users or hybrid magic users. Like Fravia, you guys can see right here. Uh, where's the little slime? It's not here. Doesn't matter, little slime is not here. Then we got something that's gonna come back Mr. Vision of Bahamut. So, the King of Dragon, the raid event is back. So, basically, it was here. Uh, man, I wanna say a long time ago. It feels like it was a year ago, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a year ago. So, this guy is coming back. Uh, another raid event, which is good. We just finished one on Friday and we're going to start a new one. So basically you guys can farm a little bit more coins. And as I can say, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys want to sell them right here, you guys, this, this is what I did to basically get 4 million back because I was really, really low on Gil. And uh, he's actually a cool boss. Hopefully they fix the problem. They're not going to bring him back with the problem glitch that he had the first time. Uh, here's what you guys will be able to do. So. Obtain recipes, materials, and abilities as individual rewards. Uh, Drake's Claw Rod, Attack 10, Magic 35. It's an okay rod, guys. Nothing crazy. Then the Drake's Guard uh, Robe recipe. Magic uh, Spirit 20, Defense 35, and Auto Regen. This is actually not bad for your Magic users, especially if you're starting the game and you don't have uh, something really good to put on your mages or your Magic users. Hybrid slash Magic users. Uh, that's not bad. Then we have uh, Bahamut's Fang recipe. Um, Dragon Killer attack 76 for a spear. Just because of there's Dragon Killer on it, it's actually worth it. So make sure you get this because this is actually not bad of an equipment to put on some of your characters. Then Dragon's Roar, Roar uh, attack 78, Dragon Killer, and uh, enables Waking Instincts. You guys can see right here. It's a new ability that they put on the gun. Boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit when HP drops a below a certain level. So I guess when you're, let's say, under 30%, well, all your stats are going to be buffed up because of the gun. Which is not bad, actually. If you guys have uh, characters like Baltier, which you can equip it because uh, there's the uh, killer ability on it, which is actually not bad. A uh, character like, um, what's her name? Veritas of the Light, which is an actual really good weapon to give her. Uh, could be interesting, actually. Not bad at all. Then, you guys can uh, get these abilities right here. Boost magic by 10%, spirit by 5%, boost attack by 10%, defense 5%, uh, seeding cauldron, 
uh, boost MP and magic by 10%, swelling power boost HP and attack by 10%. Nothing crazy right here, but you know what, if you're starting the game, this is better than nothing. Especially that swelling power, the HP and attack is actually really really good to put on your uh, main damage dealers, if you're new to the game. If you're new to the game. Uh, and we're gonna be able to get some... Are we gonna get some tickets? Oh, actually, you guys will be able to pull some tickets. So, never mind. Never mind. We want those tickets and all those cactuars. Ah, oh, that's actually not bad. If we can get some tickets and 10% Moogles, I'm down with that. Thank you, Square Enix and FFB for this. Uh, yeah, so that's actually a really cool raid. He's actually fun to fight. And uh, yeah, Bahamut, time to kick some butt. We're going to move on to the next one. The Featured Summon. <coughs> Sorry. So you guys can see right here. Uh, that's the new thing that they're doing, I guess, when the game is into a low time. Because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure CG Lid is going to be the next character that's going to come out maybe next week. So they're showing up with attack type, Duke, uh, ice physical damage. Eileen, you guys know, she's, she's a boss now, especially with her awakenings. She becomes that much stronger. <coughs> Sorry. Then we have Beatrix, Roberta. Knight Delita, really good TM. Olive, pretty solid unit. Uh, she fell out of the meta a little bit, but she's still a good unit to have. So this is what we're going to get on from Friday to Tuesday. Then we get the magic slash hybrid type banner from Monday to Friday, which Emperor uh, was really good, especially when you awaken his, his abilities. Uh, Still not a bad unit, as a really good TM though, the uh, Ma uh, the Malice, Matthews Malice is a really really strong rod. Barbaricha, really good Wind Mage, Transterra, she's just really really powerful, she does a lot of damage when you awaken her abilities. Really expensive, but really good. Uh, Miss Frivia, she is back, the Ice Queen is back and she has, she's strong as ever. Uh, I always have a hard time saying his name. Ninja Guy, not bad unit, but not the greatest. And Dark Fina, I'm sorry, just her TM is the only good thing because she fell out of the meta a long time ago. So, should you guys pull on these banners? Uh, you know what? It's always uh, it's always personal. If you guys want that unit, let's say Olive is your favorite unit of all time, well, go for it. If that's a chance to get her, go for it. If not, guys, if you want CG Lid or maybe CG Nicole that's gonna come maybe in the next, maybe at the end of the month or something like that, keep those tickets, keep that lapis, and really take your time. Grind the game a little bit more because we're gonna get a 10 plus 1 ticket this month and a 5 star EX ticket at the end of the month. So just, you know, grind it out. And if you guys want those units, go for it. If you don't, Keep your lapis and keep your tickets for something better that you're going to need. Then, we're going to go and notices. And right here, I think it's this one here. Yeah. Uh, free daily summon. So starting on Friday, we're going to get free daily summons. Woo! Who doesn't like free daily summons? Because you might get a chance to get a 4 star or a 5 star, which is always great. So from Friday, uh, May 4th. To Friday, May 18th, you guys will be able to free summon every day, once a day, which is also something amazing because I love free summons. Give me some free summons all the time, that would be great. So, this is really cool. Thank you for bringing this back because I love this thing right here. And last thing, Ability Awakening update for Dragon Quest. So, you guys can see right here, Dragon Lord. Uh, gets well, everybody's gonna get some ability awakening. Uh, Liquid Metal Slime, actually, that's the one I want to talk about because he's gonna be the probably the main the main guy that everybody wants to know. He's an amazing tank. Uh, just the fact that he has 999 defense, 500 spirit, he's pretty, pretty strong in the fact that he can tank a lot of damage and not die. Uh, you guys can see right here, once you metal body, boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit, increase LB gauge every turn. Uh, and here, when you awaken one, you basically get chance of evading physical attacks. Which is great when you want to tank. Evading physical attacks, that's the best thing. Then you get Kaboom, 
damage move, boost damage amount, mid, partially ignores magic defense. Let's be honest, you're not gonna use him to do any damage to sorry, to the enemy. You're basically just gonna use him to tank as much damage as possible. Or provoke the damage. So that's it for the ability awakening, guys. I'm really excited for Whoop, well, not this one. Uh where is it? Uh, right here. The Vision of Bahamut. We are finally getting another raid event. I love those raid events. They're so fun to grind. Uh, that's basically the theme I'm using to find Garuda right now. Because she's really, really easy to beat. Uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, leave a like on the video. Uh, I don't know, guys. That's Wednesday. We're getting free summons starting on Friday. We're getting a 10 plus 1 ticket in, uh, in the third week. And we're getting an EX 5 star ticket at the end of the month. Great start of the month, guys. Great start of the month. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.